All right, so I just wanted to go and revisit an old wives' tale that's been passed down from generation to generation. Uh, would you guys like to introduce the world or reintroduce the world to the legend of Dane's son? <laughs> yes, we can introduce the world. All right, so where, where does it all begin? Like, where, where does the Dane's son emerge from? Where does he originate from? So, okay, where he came from, we don't exactly know. We just know he's, he's from, from Japan. And the story originates all the way back in the days of DJ Troopers and an uh, arcade here known as Hawaiian Brian's, which is now gone. So this is, yeah, pretty freaking long ago. When did Troopers come out? Like, what, 10 years ago? Maybe yeah, I, I think it was. Like a, uh, oh, no, yeah, yeah, I think it was 10 years ago. It was when he came back from Japan, right? So, like, 2009 he was playing? 2008. Yeah, about 2000. Oh, I'll say, like, 2008, 2009. Yeah. Like, around there. I mean, yeah, let's just assume that. Okay, so two, it's 2008, 2009. Obviously, Hawaiian Brian's has a rampant arcade scene. Um, so wh when does the legend appear? What, what happens? Set the scene for us. Okay, so basically, you know, at the arcade, we had a beat mania, we had drum mania, and a bunch of music games or whatever. So, okay, so I, <laughs> it kind of starts off the, this... Japanese kid starts to he started to come down to the arcade, you know, just new face playing music games. And um he actually started playing drum mania first before beat mania. <laughs> so um yeah, we would see this guy playing drum mania for hours and hours and hours upon end. Like as in like pretty much like from opening to closing. He would like probably get there at like 10 a.m. and the arcade closed at like 3 a.m. So we're talking about like a really long time at the arcade. When did you guys first notice that he was like there the whole time? Like, surely you saw him a few times. You're like, uh. But when did you notice it was like a legendary amount of time, not just a normal amount of time, like legendary amount? <laughs> <laughs> so like that, well, like like. But I want to say back then, like, a lot of us had school and a lot of us had, we had jobs in school. And, like, sometimes, you know, before school and work, school or work, you know, we'd go to the arcade in the morning, you know, get some games in, see this guy. And we, like, leave and, you know, do, and we had, like, our eight-hour shift or, you know, our classes. And, you know, late at night, we're like, oh, let's let's go back to Brian's. And, like, you know, we go we go down and, like, you know, this, this guy's still fucking here. We are like... And that's when you begin to notice, like, oh shit, like, has, has this guy been here, like, the whole time since, you know, 10 a.m. in the morning or when, whenever they open? Did that's anyone, when, like, oh, go ahead. So I was going to ask, did anyone keep tabs? Was anyone, like, uh, just like, all right, we're going to, like, see if he's still there? Like, did you ever just get curious and go back to see if he was there? I think that was when I was in college, still like dorming nearby. And I play like drum mania. Then I go to my classes, take a nap. And I come back in the afternoon and meet up with Derek. And I'm like, yo, has he been here the whole time? And we'd see him leaving at like 4 a.m. Because we that's when we would like go driving around and shit. And I was like, Wait, yo. So you guys actually son. saw him. You saw him leaving the arcade yeah, at like 4. Yeah, so yeah, actually like we would see him like walking home. Like because... Yeah, we would be like driving around and like we're you know dropping people off and they're like, like holy shit, like it's it's fucking that guy, that guy <laughs> being you know like Dane like Dane's son. It's like damn, did he just leave the arcade? It's like you know four or five in the morning. Like, <laughs> it's like it's crazy. <laughs> like, yeah. So so how did the name Dane's son come to be? Oh God. <laughs> okay, so this was... is actually so this is a long story. This okay, is Frodo's so, first, right? Yeah, okay, so yeah, I think it, I think Tof. Or okay, we I mean we called Tof Frodo back then, but I, I'll just call him Tof from here. So Tof was in Hawaii at the time, and so his name actually did not derive from anything music game related. So back then, uh, we also were playing uh, Blaze Blue. So <laughs> what? 
<laughs> so, you know, we're, we're all playing Blaze Blue, and, like, you know, he would, he would watch us play, and, you know, he was, see, he was interested in the game, so he, he tried playing. Then, like, the first character he played was, like, Rachel, and Tolf played Rachel, and, you know, he would, like, Tolf could kind of, he could speak Japanese back then, so, like, he, he would ask, like, Tolf, like, how to play Rachel, basically. And so, you know, Tof would like start teaching him and stuff. Or like, and basically the joke came like, oh man, that that's that you know that's Tof's son, man. He's he's teaching him, you know, he's teaching him the ways of Rachel and whatnot. Was he any good at playing Rachel? <laughs> okay, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> so no, he was not. So if you have any kind of knowledge of like fighting game, like or just air dashers in general, like you couldn't figure out how to do like a jump cancel, which is basically. Like after you you know you press a button on an attack and it connects and you hold up you couldn't figure out how to do that for I don't know how long. This is like messing up a chord in 2DX that's just hitting like two, four, and six. It's somehow messing up that. Like yeah, <laughs> inconceivable. All right. It's like hitting like it's just like hitting like one two one two back and forth like on the. So, okay, this was um, Blaze Blue, obviously. Was he transitioning from that to music games because you guys were playing music games, or was he originally playing music games as well? Oh, no, no, no. He, he definitely... He, so he started on music games, but... I mean, we get, you know, we'll, we'll get into that, but for his name, this is, how it, this is basically just for like, how he got his name. Okay. Dane, like, Dane's son. So he was so, okay. Tove's son, and then he transitioned okay. to Dane's son. No, so he was actually my son at one point. <laughs> How did he end up being your son for a while? <laughs> so, he, became, he became my son from Beat Mania. Cause, like, around, he only played Drum Mania around that time. So, you know, he didn't play Beat Mania. Then all of a sudden, he started playing Beat Mania. Then, like, you know, he started asking me stuff and whatnot. Then folks like, oh, like, oh, shit, I guess he's your son now. I'm like, like <laughs> all right, yeah. Passing the torch, like, he's my son. So yeah, like at that point, he you know he was you know Derek's son for for that point. Yeah, and then and then, then okay, yeah, then that so then he transitioned to Dane's son through not through Beat Mania but through Blaze Blue. So one day, um, like you know he saw Dane playing Blaze Blue and Dane played Ragna. Then after Dane played Ragna. And like he started picking up Ragna for some reason, and so he tried to. God, I don't want to get into detail of like this old. It has to do with like combos or whatever. But basically, he pretty much became Dane's son because he started playing Ragna and he wanted to learn Ragna from Dane. All right. So, so one so thing I think of, one thing I need to point out though is um, he, he's Japanese, right? So Dane's son is Japanese. Right, right. And his, his English wasn't too fantastic from what I remember you saying in the past. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's another why he became, like, Dane's son, because, like, Dane would actually, you know, converse with him in Japanese. So... That's where the nightmares began. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so once he transitioned into 2DX, let's expand on the nightmare. What happened from there? What makes him so legendary? Oh, the Monday night betting. Okay, that's... that's, that's, that's okay. okay. That, that's later. No, okay, why don't we start off with his like career in music games? Uh, drum Mania. So yeah, let's start from Drum Mania. So okay, first of all, like you know, I got I got nothing against the guy. This guy's like a freaking nice. He's you know he's a nice guy and whatnot. But all right, so first like he would be playing Drum Mania like all day, like you know, like you mentioned before, all day every day, and he was like you know failing tens like for a week straight. Or something. That's in Drum Mania 10s? Yes, so like yeah. Drum Mania 10s. Like, okay, okay, I'll be like 10 to 30s. And like, I'd, you know, we'd see this, since we'd be at the arcade every day, we would like see this guy, like, okay, we're just like, like, damn, like, dude, this guy is like not getting any better. And he's like staying here 12 hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, and that was kind of like, and it, like, that kind of like turned something on this. We're just like, like man, what? Like, damn, this guy is like just not catching on or something. Did you guys ever so, try and help him? Not I. Drum, 
Oh, wait, I think Dane might have helped him. I tried a bit with Dramania, but there's only so much you can teach. A lot of it's just physical ability, so it's kind of like, well, maybe you could try and do this, or uh, just, you know, keep hitting the note and it's fine. And I'd watch him play, and I'm like, damn, I am better than you with one arm on 40s. <laughs> I, I just kind of would stand there watching with my mouth open, like, uh, I don't know what I'm seeing. I'm like, you know? I'm pretty sure his brain has just been dipped in gasoline one too many times. <laughs> so this this was an amazing sight, right? Seeing this man spend 12 plus hours a day playing music games and never improving. Yeah. It, I've never seen it before. <laughs> it, was, it was amazing and somewhat unbelievable. <laughs> I, I don't know. I feel like, you know, if you're playing full of loss and day, like you should feel like, all right, That's so let's <laughs> let's move on then to his 2DX career. So obviously went from oh. Drum Mania to Blaze Blue. When did he start the 2DX and become your son, Dane's son, and that whole fiasco? <laughs> okay. Um, How did it what? stick to me? Was it just because I could speak to him? Was yeah, that I think it's because like you, you. I think yeah, I kind of just stuck with Dane because like he could, you know, converse yeah. with them because he followed Dane me around was, a lot. Yeah, and like Dane could speak Japanese. I I couldn't speak Japanese, so I didn't really understand him. And like his English wasn't very good. So I think it just kind of stuck the Dane son, and it just you know it just has a ring to it for some reason. You know, like Dane's Fulf, Fulf, son. Yeah, like Fulf son. That doesn't sound very appealing. Like Derek son. That's kind of like eh, whatever. But like Dane son, you're just like. Oh, that has like some special ring. It, it needs to have the in front of it. It just has to be prefaced by the Dane son. That's and right. We, we, we've now Dane. got the the legend of or the legendary. So don't worry. It's it's, it's evolved <laughs> since then. All right. So so let's continue. So he starts two DX. Do we see some miraculous improvement in two DX? Okay. So this. Okay. Now I believe he started. I... So, okay, is this 2007, at least? Probably I'm just saying that because, you know, since 2K7 was... So, so this was, like, Trooper's time still, right? Yeah, but he started in Gold. But, in Gold? Yeah, around, so 2DX Gold, Trooper's time. Okay, that would have probably been around, like, 2000... Yeah, 7, 8. Yeah, so, okay. So, yeah, he transitioned into 2DX. And you know, of course, he you know he's starting off with like, like ones and so on, like twelve hours a day as usual. Same thing, like fail, like failing ones, like I don't know for maybe not ones, but like one through sixes, like. Excuse me. It's all right. Like relatively, like relatively, relatively quickly. So. <sighs> Okay, like, you know, first he was, like, playing just, like, regular and, like, you know, non-random, like, what you typically do, like, as a new player, you play non-random. You know, like, normal bar or whatever. Yeah. And then one day, all of a sudden, I noticed he started on hard mode. And I'm just kind of like, I'm like, okay, like, why is he not putting it on, on hard mode? And he put, picks, like, uh, he picked, like, Fatal Attack and, like, like, he, he died, like, you know, like, not instantly, but, like, he died horribly. <laughs> I'm, just thinking, I'm just thinking, like, I'm like, what? Like, why, why is this guy trying hard mode? Like, he's, like, he's just failing, you know, he's not even making, like, halfway through the song. So, um, actually, I, I, had, I had Dane ask him, like, like oh, Dane, no. Please, like, can you ask your, ask your son, like, why is he putting on hard mode? You shouldn't be doing <laughs> so Dame, what did he say? What did he say to that? Okay, so I went up to him and was like, Oh, why are you using hard bar on these songs? Maybe you should probably play without that so you can get to the song. He said, Oh, I would like to find out where I'm dying. And I stopped. And I just was like, But you can see it on your roof gauge at the end of the song. You can kind of tell, right? And he's like, No, if I know where I'm dying at, I can, I can just, just work until, until that point and get better. better. And, and I just went back, back to Derek, Derek and I was like, I, I think this guy's a fucking retard. <laughs> yeah, after I heard that, I was just like, his logic does not apply to, apply to this world. <laughs> I had to ask him, like, every time I asked him a question, 
I would say it two or three times to make sure I was hearing it right. I'm like, you know, maybe I'm not good at Japanese. I just lived there for a little while, and maybe I'm just terrible. So I was like, I asked him in English, and I got the same response. And I was like, well. <laughs> All right. So, so yeah, you want to see, there's no loss in translation here. That's, and all this is like, you know, actual, it's, it's actual, it's actual intention. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> So, okay, oh yeah. that's not, that, okay, and after that, um, is this it? Is this the border bonus? bonus? No, 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 this is before. <laughs> so, okay, a- after that, uh, okay, yeah, I guess, you know, still putting on hard mode, but not as much, so, you know, thank goodness, like, you kind of, you kind of, kind of stopped with that, and then started playing normally again, and then, Okay, so after that, he's, you know, he's, okay, he's around, like, maybe, like, level 7. Seven. Uh, yeah, okay, let's just say, like, 7. So, he starts putting on, like, S random. And I'm just, like, I'm just watching him, and I'm just, like, why is he putting on S random? Like, there's no point, like, and, like, and the song is, like, so, like, you know, so hard for him, and he's not even going to be able to do it, like, and he can't, he's like, he can't even like read random, so I'm just, I'm just like, okay, and, you know, I, go, I go to Dan, I'm like, hey, Dan, um, so can you, can you please ask your son why he's putting on S random, like, all right, so, so Dan, you went to him, you went to him, and what did you say to this one? Why are you using S random? Oh, if random is good, then S random is much better, right? Um, and then I just like, you know, that's, That's not, not what the S stands, stands for. It's, it's not, not super random. It doesn't make you like super good. I was like, well, uh, Derek, he he thinks it makes him super good. <laughs> yeah. So I that was just, that was just mind blowing. I was just was like, okay, he thinks that like, okay, obviously random makes you better. So he's like, an S random must make you even better. And I was like. <laughs> Like, I'm like, no way. No, alright. Alright, then yeah, that okay then it was like that, that was the end of that. Uh, so okay, yeah, no, like month, months pass. Yeah, it's getting a little better at the game. Um then this is like uh, yeah, we're in say we're in DJ Troopers now. Then okay, we started no I started like noticing a trend, like when like just like you know waiting in line just like watching him play or whatever then okay for whatever reason he kept playing like captivate chica <laughs> on oh yeah another like so so i thought so at this point like he's gotten like you know to like easy tens and like eights or nines or whatever so he kept like captivate chica another and then like okay i see him playing on normal like gets to that he has like you know he has like a hundred percent bar going into the end. I'm just like yeah, you know this guy got it. Like ending's like ending's piss easy, and he goes to like fifty percent like instantly from a hundred. I'm just like, I'm like, what? I'm like, what? I'm like, it's like what? Oh, happened? Like, he had it. And I'm just I'm just like okay, all right. Then he puts on like then he puts on easy mode. Plays again, and then. Same shit happens. Fucking freaking goes to like a hundred to like you know like seventy or sixty. I'm just like, I'm like, I'm like, what? What is this guy doing? Like, he, like you should be able to beat this song, like at where he's at. And then he, he I, I swear he actually tried it on hard bar, and I believe he just like failed at the end or whatever. So that was that wasn't the only song then. So there, he played like zero, like said, uh, if, if no one's familiar with the ending of zero, the ending of zero is literally four scratches. And like, da, 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 da. like, all you gotta do is like hit four scratches. So he goes into the ending with like, you know, 100%. And I'm just like, oh, good job, you know, you ate it. Four scratches, so was, like, bam, go instantly to like 70%. I was just, I was just like, I'm like, what? I'm like really? I'm like, I'm like how? Oh. Like, like I think he'd be with all. Yeah, okay, I think he'd be with all four scratches, and he could probably fail. But like, I'm just like how? Oh. Like, how is this guy like messing up 
on like stuff this simple. That, it doesn't make sense. Like, <laughs> I was like, oh, it was like mind blowing. So like, it got so bad. So okay, it got to the point where like he was like doing this on like every single song, like regardless of like how hard it was, and like. It was it was mind blowing and like you know me and me and Tolf actually like started betting money on it. Like we're just like all right, is this guy is this is this guy gonna be I don't know it was like captivate G guy or captivate Sabaki hyper you know and like me and Frodo me and Tolf would literally be like all right five five bucks he's not gonna beat it. Not. And then, like, he's like, nah, nah, nah he got this shit. And you can guess what, you know, Tolf lost it. Did you I was there for that one. Did, did anyone else get in on this betting? Did it actually become, like, a thing with multiple people? Well, yeah, it was, it was mainly just me and Tolf, but, like, it, like, it became, like, it was, like, it was literally, like, you know, gambling. Like, we would just, like, it would be like, hey, yo, I'd, like, call him, and, hey, yo, you busy, man? <laughs> he's like, oh no, like you wanna hang out? I'm like, yeah, dude, you wanna go bet on Dane's son? I'm ready to start right now. <laughs> and we're like, all right, shoot, just like just head to Brian's, and you know, we go to Brian's like 11 at, you know, 11 at night, and yeah, of course, Dane's son is there, and we're like, you know, we're like, all right, you know, we start, you know, start busting out the money, and we start betting. <laughs> he wasn't there, you know, we just play games and whatever. It wasn't that big of a deal. But... Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's so and, hilarious. <laughs> But yeah, you know, it was, it was fun. It was it was it was fun to bet on <laughs> because it it literally was like a fifty fifty. <laughs> if you fail, All unless right. it was like some unless it was like some song that like was like he's not gonna be. Yeah. Okay, so when when did the um the betting stop though? Because I remember there was an incident that kind of ruined the fun. <laughs> okay, so this yeah this like ruined our fun like. Dramatically, Dram dramatically. So, I I can't. I, I had the idea pop into my head. I'm just like, you know, is this guy trying to go for a border bonus? So, if, if none of you are familiar, like, of what a border bonus is, is that back, back in like World of Two X styles, you got eighty percent. Uh, you I get an additional five seven uh, five thousand seven hundred thirty points uh, added to your money score. So I'm just like, is this guy going for a border bonus all the time? Is this why he's failing? I'm just like, nah, it can't be. There's no fucking way. It can be. Did you get Dan to go and ask him or? But you know what? Yeah, I went. I went to Dan. I'm like, hey, dude, right, you got you got you got to ask your son this question. <laughs> All right, Dane, Dane, question to answer, like all questions. Like, yeah. ask your son if he's like intent. Ask your son if he knows what a border bonus is, and if he's trying to go for a border bonus. All right, so Dane, what what happened when you went and asked him? <laughs> so we're watching him from the other side of the arcade. The fighting games divide the middle, and the two X's on the other side. So I'm like watching him, like, all right, I'm asking after this. So I kind of squeeze between, go over there. And I say, hey, yo, what's up? He's like, oh, hi. And I'm like, you know, do you know what a border bonus is? He's like, oh, yes. And he nods earnestly. And I'm like, oh, fuck. No, 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 no. don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. And I'm like, are you trying to get a border bonus? And he says, ah, yes, I am. It improves my score. And it helps me improve my accuracy. And I just stood there like, did this fucker just say what I think he said? Uh, I just was like, you want a border bonus? He's like, yes. And he nods his head. And I'm like, I will ask him in English. It's so like, I've started to do this thing where it's a double confirmation, double verification. I'm like, Japanese and English. And he gives me the same answer. And I just walk over to Tof and, you know, Derek. And I'm like, ah, you're not going to believe what I just heard him say. And I, I relay the message and I watch both of them look at each other like, what? Like, no one can be this stupid. And it just got really silent in that little triangle we had over there for like a few seconds. And we, as it just took us a while to process all that information. <laughs> yeah, and one day, like, like betting was ruined. Yeah, after that, um, obviously, we couldn't, couldn't bet on him anymore since, you know, he was rigging the bets. <laughs> so, um, yeah, me, me and, me and Toph were. We're, we're really bummed out. Like, 
There, there goes like you know, like our only form of gambling in Hawaii. It's freaking illegal here. <laughs> so, like, like we're we're like bummed out, and I was just like mind blown, and I like I couldn't believe it. Like, I, it's it's just like I heard like it's like one of the worst news, like like you know, Dane was like the bearer of bad news, and he just like came to me and like like I just I started break breaking you, man. And I just started breaking down, like the hamster in my in my head just stopped running. <laughs> <laughs> like I couldn't think. Oh, you poor man. All right. And so... I was just like, wow, there. Uh, I give. I fucking give up on this. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's all I can think of. Like seriously. All right, so uh, the, the next item on the agenda, obviously in our beautiful background that everyone can see, there is a um, an outline of the Dane Sun's legendary <laughs> diet. Do you want to um, cover his, his coveted diet of success? Okay, oh, so... Boy. So, for, okay, well, first off, uh, he, he ended up leaving Hawaii. I want to... Uh, yeah, I think he left around, like, maybe 2008, 2009... So, you know, we sent them off for, you know, dinner and whatnot. But um, I don't think I went. I think I remember, like, Dane went or something. But, like, you know, anyways, people, yeah. You know, I, people, from, people from the arcade sent them off, like, you know. Oh, no, that's kind of nice. Party or something. Yeah, but, you know, like, like you said, he, he was a nice guy. So nothing, yeah, nothing, nice. again, nothing really against him besides his, like, strange thinking and <laughs> his music game habits, I guess. But... Oh, uh, so okay, yeah. He so he leaves um, for a while, actually, a, re- a really, really long time. And um, so let's fast forward how many? I don't know how many years. Okay, let's basically fast forward to to Linkle, Linkle TW era. Oh yeah. So at this point, Brian's is gone, um, and New Arcade is a uh, fun works. So. He started. Then one day he he showed up, and we're like, like holy shit! Like it's it's fucking Dane's son. Like, <laughs> we were like, when when did he get back? And we we're like, oh, okay. We we're, we're like, holy shit! He's fucking back, you know. But yeah, it ends up he you know he moved back, and you know he's just yeah. You know, I, I get I don't know what it was. I think like his his parents actually lived here or something. But like yeah, he ended up moving back. It's the turn of the Jedi. Yeah, so yeah, just Return of the Jedi. Related Return. So, so back at Funworks, um, he actually didn't really play that much. He didn't really, you know, I guess he didn't really have any money to play with. He'd just come around, like come around and hang out and whatnot. And I would, you know, you like pay for his game sometimes and give him free game or like you know ask like you know the worker there. There are workers there. They're like cool enough to like give him some free games. And whatnot. So. Let's fast forward a little further. Uh, Funworks like closes down, and the two DX machines they get moved to this new arcade called uh, Market City. So, oh, the Market the, era. Yeah, so this is like the Market era. Like, so all of a sudden, like you know, we we'd go out the arcade. You know, it's you know pretty much be there all the time, or there, and all of a sudden, like he just like exploded and started playing like in, in insane amounts like you know back then like you know he would be there from 10 a.m to 10 p.m or 10 a.m. or 12 or whatever midnight whenever the arcade closes so did you ever playing, like did you ever uncover the mystery where the money came from or no we saw so that that's one thing we don't know where like he got the money to play with all of a sudden because he was you know if you're playing like you know 12 hours plus you know a day non-stop considering if like i mean people are in line or not like you know that that's a lot of money you know like a dollar a game that's a lot of money like regardless so yeah that's kind of started this is what we like to call um you know the reign of terror the big and sun <laughs> reign of terror unfortunately because back then there you know so there was like a lot of people that wanted to get games and like when the machine was empty, and you know that unfortunately could never happen anymore because Dane Sun was there. Dane Sun was there, and like <laughs> you know, we had like so had, like people, like some some of the players would get upset because you know they only got like one day off and they live like you know an hour away from the arcade and they come down here and they 
you see Dane's son and they're like, are you, are you fucking kidding me? I gotta, but, gotta but wait with this guy. Surely it was a relatively short game for Dane's son because uh, didn't EX Hard come out in Lincoln? <sighs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. Oh, no. Okay, so um, if, like, this is, so, this is not, yeah, so EXR came out in Lincoln. So right now, this is like Tricoral era. So he started going really crazy on 2DX when, um, when the yellow oh, no. came out. So, thanks, Tao. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. so the one, the one yellow, <laughs> if, if you guys are familiar with the yellow two, uh, Tricoral, man, it was literally a grind fest. Like a, a crazy grind fest. So this is during like this, like, the second song, or the second song to be unlocked, um, and it, I believe it was, it was Casino Fire, right? Casino Fire. And he changed his name to, like, <laughs> or whatever. So, um, okay, and around the same time, like, of course, you know, he's playing a shit ton. He started showing up with, like, casts on his, like, Oh, no, not a cast, but like braces that's on like his a wrist. Brace. Yeah, like that's a brace and like bandages like on his wrist, and they're just like, you know, we're just like, dude, like, is, there, is this guy's hands okay? So like one of my one of my friends, who, or one of the other two EX players, he was like a he was like a nurse, so he worked in the medical field, and you know, he asked him like, hey, like, like is your <laughs> your hands like all right? Like, I think you should like see a doctor. Like, are you gonna get like permanent damage? You know. And you know, of course, that that never happened. Like, you come out, you like, you know, come back to the arcade every day with like, you know, the same, like, like same bandages, and like later it turned into like even more braces and bandages or, or whatever. And eventually, he had it on both hands because he played double once in a while. But oh, yeah, God. so it kind of gives you an idea like how much like he was playing. So it, it actually like, brought like a serious like concern to us because like you know we're trying to like convince him like hey man you gotta take a break like your hands are like you know you're like hurting your hands and like, you, know, you might get permanent permanent da- damage and you know you, we don't want that to happen to you. Okay, so and... I, I, I'm sure that um, on top of that the the diet didn't help. Maybe we'll get Dane. Dane, do you want to cover his diet real quick? On top of that. Oh, so. There was a grocery store right across the arcade, and um, sometimes I'll like, go down there and ask people, oh, what do you want? And then one day he tagged along with me and Derek, and we went. He decided to tell us how healthy he was eating. He would get a bag of, was it lettuce, right? And yeah, a, a six-pack of rock stars. <laughs> yeah, a bag of lettuce, a six-pack of rock stars, and um, energy bars. And I was like, oh... Well, I guess you're set for the day, but this is all he ate every day, day after day. We never saw him eat anything else, and this was because he would just stay at the whole arcade. And I would come back sometimes at night after like my college courses, and I'd see that same six pack box of Rockstar that was a one can, and I'm like, did this guy just drink all of those today? And yes, he did. And I was just like, yeah, oh, he would have like a, have a massive bag of candy. <laughs> yeah, the candy too. He had to balance the lettuce with the candy, you know. He's like, you know, I'm eating all this lettuce, it's okay to like kind of snack on junk food a little. So you get the fun size package of candy. And I was like, yo, um, your teeth are turning kind of black, dude. And his teeth became a mess. It was like worse than anything I've ever seen. And I was like, your, your hands are getting damaged. Your innards are probably shot, and your teeth are horrible. I think you should take a break. He's like, no, 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 I'm Daijobu. <laughs> oh my god. He's like, it's Daijobu. And I was like, I, I don't, it's not Daijobu. It's, it's definitely not Daijobu at all. And it just got progressively worse as time went on. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, like, it would, like, it would become, like, it was, like, pretty much a daily thing. And like it was not common to see like you know like three two liter cokes like next to the two D X machine. And yes, they oh were God. empty like, after a while too. And like you know that's like that's like you know, insane like drinking that much like sugar. It's like you know diabetes. Like 
Yeah. I, like, I, don't, I don't know what else, how else to describe it. It's just, you know, like, diabetes. <laughs> It helps him see the future when he's playing. He knows what comes next in random. Right? I think. He's, I he's think. Transcend- yeah, he's 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 reached a level of understanding that not, none of us ever reached in two DX. He transcended all rational thought to something far beyond. He's become Dolce, except a billion times worse. It's just <laughs> there. All right. So so did he ever actually improve? Did his hands ever get better? Um, what happened? So, okay, uh, okay, so back to his hands. It got, it got to a point where I actually had to, unfortunately, I mean, this just might have been a big move like that. Man. <laughs> this one. Like, I actually had to ask Tom, like, hey, man, like, you know, like, we're actually, like, seriously concerned about Dane's son. Like, you know, I'm, gonna, like, I'm, like, seriously going to ask you, like, can you, like, put a lock on this car? Like, he's, like, just going out of control. His hands are just so fucked up, like, <laughs> and like you know, Tal was like, "All right, like you know, just sort of like concerned, like for his health, like I'll put like I'll put a lock in his car." So yeah, that happened. Like we had to actually like ask the you know ask the PW people like <laughs> to lock his car so he doesn't like freaking yeah. get his, like his hands don't fall off basically. <laughs> I have to send the Death Star in to uh, blow up the admin. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, yeah, that happened. And, um, you know, I mean, yeah, it was kind of thick. Like, you know, truthfully, like, we didn't tell him. Like, you know, I had, like, we we asked the POV admins so long. You know how hard it was for me to tell him, I don't know what's wrong with your card every day, but yeah, he must sell a second cool. card. Yeah, I mean, he still made a second card, or he still played with no cards, so I mean, that didn't really help. But I, it, well, you know, eventually he, he took a break, thankfully, and he finally went to the doctors, like, finally. Did you ever find and, out what had happened to him? Like, what was the damage? Yeah, like, he saw, he, he told my one of the other players uh, that, uh, that he, had, he ended up getting, like, tendonitis, like, on both hands. So, yeah, he took a break, uh, for, I want to say maybe for like a, a month. Or it's like a year in his son's terms. <laughs> yeah, I say, yeah, I would say like, yeah, he took a break for a month and, you know, he started coming back again and, um, you know, he was, unfortunately, he was still in his like band-aids and like braces and, you know, we're just like, um, is it a break for you to play? Like, you know, it, your doctor said, like, you, you know, you gotta you know, chill out and or, like, rest, right? And I guess, like, you know, he obviously, like, he did good shit. And, you know, at that point, we're kind of like, you know, all right, like, whatever. Like, what can we do? You know, we've done what we, we've done what we could, like, to help this guy. Like, once his hands to fall off, his hands are gonna, are gonna freaking fall off. <laughs> so, here he is back at the arcade. Now, this is when we get into EX hard mode. Unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> so one day he decided to play um Xeno Fire. So first he starts off on like normal bar and like of course yeah he fails it. Like this this thing he fails. Wait, do you remember that video I made of this one? <laughs> oh yes, I do. <laughs> we should link that later. <laughs> yeah. So okay, then he had played on. Then he played it on hard bar, and like yeah, of course, like he felt horrible. You know, he felt like right in the beginning, pretty much, like because I, I mean that part's that part's freaking hard. Like, and for whatever reason, he puts that ex hard, and I was just like, what? Like, what is this guy doing? Like, why is he like? I'm like, whatever. Okay, he plays it. He literally dies at the whole scratcher. It's like the, the high, the really high pitch. Like, hi, and this is dead. Like, he just misses everything after that. I'm just like, oh, I'm like, okay, what? What is this guy doing? Like, I, I like, like, you know, I think like the candy bar and like the energy drinks, like, seriously, like, we got to his head at that point. Yeah, it was just a beer break damage. That's uh, So, on top of that, um, he started to play like, like, DP 12s on EX Heart. What? I wasn't there. I wasn't there to see that, but one of my other friends that plays double, um, he was just like he came. He like he like 
text, like, you know, message me or text me. He's like, hey, why is Dane's son playing Xerxes, DP, and Mother on EX Hard? And I'm like, I'm like, why is he doing that? <laughs> it's like, like, you can keep in mind, he's probably like a double, it's like six now or something. So, like, obviously, like, he's in, there's no way he's going to beat it. Like, and then apparently, like before, he he asked my friend asked him, he's like, "Hey, why are you putting EX hard on on Zerky double and other?" And he's like, "Oh, that song's easy. I think I can beat it." And I was just like, "Are, I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, are you fucking serious?" I'm like, what the? I was like, just like, what the fuck? You know, like, oh god, like, like I was just like, uh, everyone there, like. Just could not believe their eyes, could not believe like the things he was doing, and you know there is no, there like you couldn't find any answer to it. And it was just it was like probably like you know, you know we're not smart enough. We're not at that level like, of enlightenment uh, to know what Dane's son is thinking. Yeah. So um, in the original interview when I asked you about Dane's son, we got to this point. And obviously, you know, this was around Sparta time, right? Um, what progressed from right. there? I never actually got to ask you the continuation of Dane's son. So, as for, like, other incidents, um, okay, so there was this one time, uh... Oh, what about the power, the power strip? strip? Yes! We call it, we call yes. it power, the power strip of Dan. <laughs> it's kind of, it's, I don't know, like... It's like a pretty pretty funny joke among us, and like I don't think Don Don loves the power strip story. <laughs> so, so, oh my god! So okay, one day the machine was like acting up. One of so so at this point, there's actually two machines at, at Market City. So one day the one of the machines started acting up, and I was just like playing on the other machine or whatever, and 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 um so like Dane and like this other guy like. Darcy, he was trying to, they're trying to figure out like, like what the fuck is wrong with the machine, basically. And I was like, I'm just going to throw this in there. I was like playing Zerky and I was literally like full comboing it. Like, I pretty, I, I, I like missed on like the last, like, you know, massive jackhammer at the end. And I realized, and I looked at my score and like, I was like, wait a minute, like the fucking, the fucking graph is gone, like or like you know, like when the network goes down, like your shit doesn't save and like it just disappears, right? Yeah. So I was like, what the fuck? And like, I'm pretty, I like, I think I like beat my score too. And I was like, what? Like, what was not? What the fuck happened? Like, it was online like a moment ago. Then, like, so like on Dane and Darcy's side with Dane's son. Oh. Uh, like Dane and Darcy are just like looking at the bat, just like making sure the cable was correct. Then, then Dane's son comes and turns off the power strip. <laughs> just turns off I the just, power strip. <laughs> just sticks his hand right between all of us with intent and just... And it turns off and I just turn around and I look at him and I'm like... What? Yeah, it's just like, oh, okay, I turn off and turn off. <laughs> yeah, it's like, turned I'm off. not helping. <laughs> yeah, turned off, turned off the whole network, so... Yeah, that's what happened to my score. Got <laughs> deleted. <laughs> and like David and Darcy were just like, like what the fuck? Like, am I gonna throw this bitch out the window? I'm gonna do it pretty soon because I was like, dude, what, what are you doing? He's like, I'm helping. And I'm like, no, no, you're not. <laughs> so and, that that yeah, that was the power strip incident. <laughs> And like if I full combo, I would have been. If I full combo at the time, which I did, I would have been very, pretty upset. He would have gone out the window. He would have gone yeah, out the window. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, I never resort to violence, but yeah, like, yeah, he would have got thrown out the window basically. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the Scorpion Fire video where that dude jumps out the window. <laughs> That's yeah. where he's going. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. So but, uh, um. Yeah. So that was a power strip incident. Yeah. Did anything happen after that? Were there any other major incidents with him post oh. power strip? Elemental creation. <laughs> oh, no. You remember that one? Yeah. You remember that one? I started, I remember he started, that one. started playing elemental creation on EX Hard. What? <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, at that time, I couldn't even beat it on EX Hard. 
<laughs> I'm just like, what? <laughs> I can get it up from you, watching you do it every day. I don't... She was like, I want it to be like Derek Kun. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, he started doing elemental creation on EX card, and, and you know, obviously he dies in like two seconds. <laughs> Same thing happened on Double. My friend who plays Double is just like, hey, why did Dane Sun take EX elemental creation <laughs> DPA on EX hard? I'm like, I'm like what? <laughs> I'm like, oh. But you know what? At that that at that time, I mean, yeah, that was like a normal occurrence. So. For Dane's son, for him to just play like a random, really, really hard 12 and put on EX hard and die in, like, die in one second. <laughs> I remember I saved his score for Elemental when he did a normal normal play, and he had, I think, um, three or four hundred EX score. Wow. Yeah, or, or he was just, like, yeah, he was just yeah, playing like Elemental was... Creation and you get like a half. Like, he was actively trying to hit the whole song, too. He didn't stop. And it was still like three or four hundred EX. And I was kind of like, why are you doing this? He's like, oh, it can help me get better. <laughs> but it, I was like, you know, I'm just not going to ask you anymore. This is, I think I save a little bit of my IQ this way. <laughs> this is what, six to seven years into playing, right? This is the time in which yeah, people can grow yeah. from beginners to top rankers. This guy has not improved. He's regressed. I feel like he's gone backwards after well, all. Well, he got he got the nine on. Oh, oh so no! He got he got the nine on. So you know he he improved like quite a bit from okay. Brian's days. And you know we saw him beat nine on, and you know he he did the Dane he did the Dane Sun bonus. AKA he he finished it with two percent. I was I was impressed. <laughs> I'd be impressed too. All right, we're, we're hitting around like the uh, the forty five minute mark now. Um, does the legend still exist? Is he in Hawaii or is he moved on? Is he back in Japan? He's um back in Japan, and uh, I actually asked him how is he now. So I quit about in twenty fourteen or so because that's when PW went down, and then I went to go play again. I played in Cinnabuzz and I got chewed in. So I was like, oh yo, I got chewed in. Like, how are you doing? And he's like, oh, I, I'm i still ninth on. I was like, oh, wait, what? Why are you still ninth on? It's been how many styles? <laughs> like, what, what's killing? He's like, oh, I'm just really bad at colorful cookie. Okay, and has he still been active, actively playing this whole time? That's yeah, the sad I believe, part. I, I believe, though. He's, I believe so. Yeah, he's been. He active. is, yep. Yeah. He's still active. <laughs> but, and and it's, it's really weird because. Back when he was here playing, uh, we like we seen him play Tendon, and he would get the reunion consistent. Wow! So and he'd fail. Somehow got worse. <laughs> the Dane Sun works in mysterious ways. Yeah, <laughs> well, he's a he's a mystery. Well, I'm he's glad to hear that he, he, he's still alive and kicking and and doing his Dane Sun thing. So. He's keeping Konami alive. <laughs> He's out in the wild sad. there somewhere. Uh, do you know whereabouts, just in case you know people want to catch a sight of this legendary <laughs> creature in his natural habitat? I think Tokyo. Yeah, I think Shinjuku. Yeah, I mean, I, I actually have no idea. <laughs> well, if if anyone listening to this ends up in Tokyo, keep your eyes out for a person who's uh, playing elemental creation on EX Heart and failing in five seconds. You'll You'll spot him instantly. Um, <laughs> other than that, thanks for taking the time out tonight to talk about the legend, guys. Um, it's a story which I think needs to be documented and immortalized for all to hear for many generations of 2 yeah. player to come. 2 Oh, yeah. This is like... And like, I'm not... This is like probably like a once-in-a-lifetime thing. Like, yeah, we'll never see a creature quite like him. Yeah, man. I think even in Japan, like he's 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 probably the only one like that. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, special. There you go, guys. Right from the source, that was the legend of Dane's son.